Previously on Wild Bills, Operation Sailfish begins with a bang. No, 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 no! But it doesn't shake Team Vitamin C, too. I got the fish! Woo! Back in the game. It's slow going for Team Four Aces without their lead angler. And Team Liquid smokes the other Wild Bills teams, finishing day one in the top 10. But we're 100% in it. Still, with eight hours of fishing left in the tournament, this one is up for grabs. It's the fastest fish in the ocean, the majestic, acrobatic, iconic Atlantic sailfish. In the high stakes game of tournament fishing, there is no more formidable opponent. They're so pretty and they're so fun. It's so exciting. I get a great adrenaline rush out of this. <laughs> this band of saltwater cowboys, hell bent on winning, is here to chase sailfish bills and dollar bills on the high seas. It's the top teams doing it fast, hard, and at the highest skill level there is. In a series of multi-million dollar tournaments where everything is on the line. This is it. You're fishing against the best. You're fishing against the biggest purse. I got the leader, I got the Join teams four aces, liquid, and vitamin C2 as they risk life, fame, and fortune on their quest for the crest. Wild Bills. Wild Bills, presented by Bass Pro Shops. 43 teams, $25,000 entry, $500,000 on the line. It's the final day of the first tournament in the prestigious Quest for the Crest Sailfish Series. Day two of Operation Sailfish dons with an open playing field and plenty of promise. I got the Yesterday, Team Liquid made the top 10 with six releases, while fellow Wild Bills teams four races in vitamin C2 lag behind with only four releases each. If the fish show up in a little bit more of abundance and we get some multiples, take advantage of it, things can go our way quick. If we catch 15, that'd be great. Get up, get up, get up, get up! You need 20 fish to win this tournament. If the wind does go south, it may be a little less than that. So we need to do 14 plus fish tomorrow. If the wind stays east, if it doesn't, then we need to do 14 fish tomorrow. We need to get to 20. We catch 20 fish for the two days, we'll win this tournament. So lead boat right now only needs to do 10 tomorrow to win. And, and that's not an easy feat. Two good days in a row like that is, uh, is something generally only the best teams do. Team Vitamin C2's bold move yesterday keeps them in the running on day two. My boy Tim's been out of the game a little while and he's got a phenomenal boat for what we do. It just hasn't been used and boats don't like to sit. That's not good. Both motors. Our choice was lose the day or somehow get all of our stuff on another boat in six foot seas. Crazy, a little bit dangerous. No, 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 no! Oh! You know, obviously did some damage to my boat. To his credit, he still pulled four fish out of the day with some real chaos. I mean, you, you lose all power, you're, you're anchored down, stuck, got to trade boats, crashing boats, and I'm glad I wasn't involved and, and I'm glad nobody got hurt. We missed two and a half hours of fish time. That right there could be us at the top of the leaderboard. Sitting there all day yesterday, I think it would have been a total, you know, we're only five fish out of winning. I had a bunch of people on the boat last night playing with this, pulling that, plugging this in, testing that. We got my boat running. I think they stopped working on it about one or two in the morning. You know, everything was good. We had, it, we had it dialed in. We knew what we had to do. Team Four Aces owner and lead angler Peter Adrian is back on board after yesterday's emergency doctor visit. I had to go to Miami to see my doctor. And it's funny because the guys didn't have that many shots the day I wasn't there. They caught four, and that day was slow for them. Fishing-wise, we're probably not going to do anything different. Just trying to pick our location. And that's one thing that we have to really think about in our game plan, having a little bit of a slower boat than we're normally used to. Where we're going to run and how much running we actually do. Try to spend more time fishing because our moves are going to be a lot slower. We're going to waste a lot more time than most of the boats. We can go one spot and get on it and stay hot all day and catch up to everybody and go ahead. 
that's what we're gonna try to do. Just get a few more bites and us, you know, sticking them when they come up and do eat. You know, I've been down before with plenty of times and come back and done real well. So, you know, it's just staying focused, don't let it get to you and just keep driving. Team Liquid makes a run north of Jupiter Inlet. Team Vitamin C2 heads back to yesterday's hot spot, and Team 4 Aces heads just north out of Palm Beach. But which team's position will yield the pot of gold at the end of this rainbow? We call four yesterday, again, better than some, but again, I look at nine flags, 10 flags, eight flags, so we got our work to do today. These tournaments are broke down now with daily stuff, so we went out today saying, okay, we're gonna win the daily. We're four fish down right now in the tournament, and, and we've been far further down and, and made big comebacks. That's kind of one of the things I love to do. It adds the intensity, you gotta work a little harder, and, and we're certainly capable of a big comeback. So we're in it, we're, right, we're still in it. We're six fish, the lead boat has 10. So we're 100% in it, but an early multiple, and we're on the run. You wanna get a count on time? 722. If the boys get started, we're gonna win. It will happen. The marine forecast for December 14th, final day of Operation Sailfish. Mostly cloudy with temperatures going up to 60 degrees. Winds blowing from the east southeast at 14 knots, seas six to eight feet. With just eight and a half hours left in Operation Sailfish, the pressure is on. Ah. And the conditions are far from calm. Bass Pro Shops, it's more than a store. It's great service from folks who know what they're talking about. It's a low price guarantee. And free events that are fun for the whole family. It's great brands from Coleman and North Face to Redhead and Ascend. Bass Pro Shops, for a great service, great prices, and the great outdoors all meet up. There's never been a better time to come to Bass Pro Shops than right now. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Sea Hunter Boats. Style built for performance, built to last. Just go to SeaHunterBoats.com and design the boat of your dreams. We offer a wide array of options and custom build every boat. Sea Hunter produces hulls that are unsinkable, backed by the best factory service in the business. We guarantee you won't find a better competitively priced center console value because we sell factory direct. Sea Hunter, where performance and value meet to give you a boating experience investment that keeps its worth. Go to SeaHunterBoats.com and start your Sea Hunter journey. These are the teams. This is their field. This is their opponent. This is the quest for the crest. The best sail fishing teams on the planet will battle the seas, sailfish, and each other as they compete for an estimated purse of more than $2 million. Four premier events, four premier venues, one grand champion. Let the quest begin. Wild Bills is presented by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. And by CV Boats, lead the way. Sea Hunter, pay attention because we're fast. Seth McGinn's Can Cooker, cater to your crowd. Adrian Holmes, live the difference. And Blue Water Movements, promoter, producer of the Quest for the Crest Sailfish Series. Moments before it lines in on the final day of Operation Sailfish, Captain Art Sapp rallies the Team Liquid crew. Hey guys, if nothing else, yesterday did one thing. Damn sure proved we could be perfect. 730. You gotta love the weather, man. <laughs> that was so wrong. So today was supposed to be the pleasant day. Nice east southeasterlies at 15 knots or less. Well, we had to cat five kites up, which means it's blowing 30 knots or better. And it was. Oh, <laughs> 
I like it when it's rough because a lot of the guys who are on our boat are on a boat every day. And a lot of these big sport fish boats that these you know real rich owners, they don't want to go when it's rough and I don't blame them. So their crews get a little bit, you know, seasoned to the calmer weather where when it's rough, we typically do much better. Team Vitamin C2 runs north and hits on a red hot start immediately after line's in. Easy, easy, easy! There's a leader! Leader! We went right where we were catching the fish at the end of the day where everybody was catching yesterday. We got there, you know, pretty much with everybody else this morning. I'm big, I'm big! Conditions look awesome, and hopefully it's gonna be our day today. You know, as soon as we got up, got our bait spread in the water, they were there probably maybe two minutes, man. There it is, right long and right short. Back off the drag a little bit, Mike. Got a double right off the bat. There they are, right there. There's the first one on the right long. Get that one, two eight at the same time and had two fish on, got those, got set back up in the same area. Sail, sail, sail! Go around me the other way. Yeah. Drop the kite down, drop the kite down so I can walk over. Go, man, go. So you got five guys fighting this little area in, you know, every bit of eight foot seas, you know, in a boat that likes to rock anyway. I don't care how long you've been doing it. When she goes down, you're left in the air. You went down and kept the rod up so it didn't break off. Again, experience, because someone else would have been chopped the rod and let me get up, and you know, he kept doing his deal and he got up and we got the release and it was all good. He's, a, he's there he is, Dush. you got him, you got him, you got him. That whole fish, that brings us to a total right now of six, which is a nice jump. One, eight, two, yellow. That's what it is, man, this is fishing. You know, we need to go ahead, we need we need eight, ten more right now. We want to take this daily, which is which is for uh, day two. And uh, the caveat bonus would be go ahead and win this thing. We were kind of joking. We're like, listen, if we did three an hour for the rest of the day, you know, we're I, we're going to go ahead and take this tournament. Go the right way. Hold on, get chased. Another single, another single. I got it. I got it. You know, all of a sudden we got the daily, and, and that's what we were, you know, shooting for. Fourth fish with four releases before 9 a.m. Team Vitamin C2 is poised to seize the day and the daily. While Team 4 Aces starts their day south of the rest of the pack. Main plan this morning was trying to find an area where there's some Gulf Stream current, where the water's moving. That usually enhances the sailfish biting. I really didn't want to be in a pack of boats at the start. We started out. Missed a couple of fish right away. Right there. Gator, we're losing. Oh. We losing our pizza now. And then we caught one. Good job, good job. Where to go, Alex? Bring them up, Alex. Bring them up. Alex, what's happening with yours? Awesome, awesome, awesome job. Usually the bite is hotter up here when it gets a little colder and that hasn't been the case. So that's where I think the weather didn't cooperate. The frustrating so far, a few fish caught around us. The fish were scattered. And then we started hearing boat activity further to the north. We knew about where those guys were. Then we heard more people getting multiple bites where they were getting two to three fish, four fish at a time. And that was something we really needed to have happen to catch up. So we picked up and moved up. And Right after we started fishing, we had a triple header. We only... Get ready to get this fish. Unfortunately, we only caught one out of that. Captain John Dudas makes the right move. We'll get it going here. But tensions rise when Team Four Aces lets two out of three get away. Now we're going to get them. Now we're going to get them. When you do it long enough, you know you have days where you're going to miss fish. This is something hard. They were very aggressive fish on gargle eyes. We had five or six fish where they'd get bill wrapped or some other way wrapped, you'd get the baits back. Once you jump them off, the baits were hardly even touched. You know, and, and it happens. That, that happens with cargo lies. It happens with kite fishing. Way to go, Jeffrey. Way to go. Bring them up, Jeff. Awesome. And then we caught another single, and then it went on from there. We picked away a few fish. Three, seven, three, eight. While teams four aces and liquid struggle to get on the board, Team Vitamin C2 makes top five in the daily with four releases. Got him. Next up, the Wild Bill's teams rally to release as the Operation Sailfish finale draws near. Bass Pro Shops, it's more than a store. 
It's great service from folks who know what they're talking about. It's a low price guarantee. And free events that are fun for the whole family. It's great brands from Coleman and North Face to Redhead and Ascend. Bass Pro Shops, for a great service, great prices, and the great outdoors all meet up. There's never been a better time to come to Bass Pro Shops than right now. Wild Bills is presented by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. And by CV Boats, lead the way. Sea Hunter, pay attention because we're fast. Seth McGinn's Can Cooker, cater to your crowd. Adrian Holmes, live the difference. And Blue Water Movements, promoter, producer of the Quest for the Crest Sailfish Series. Noon, day two, Operation Sailfish. With only four hours left in the tournament, Team Four Aces makes a move to the north and hopes some sails will stop by for lunch. There's nothing like having a half a day left and you're down three fish and all of a sudden you hook a triple and you're tied but you're losing by one and you raise a double. Catch one of those and maybe the other one doesn't eat and you're sitting there going back and forth with one boat. And you know, there's an hour left and you raise a multiple and you hook them and you pass that other boat and you sit there and just keep picking away and stay ahead of them. And you got the whole team working together and you're just sitting there beating up on everybody. There's nothing like it. You know, knowing that you're fishing against 40 of the best sail fishermen in the game and you're beating them. So there's nothing like it in the world. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just after noon, Team Four Aces posts a double, taking them up to five fish for the day and nine in the tournament. They'll need to keep catching fish, and the more multiples, the merrier. The fight is on all around. Halfway through the day, over 100 releases are posted, sending the top teams into double digits for the tournament. Come on, guys, let's go. After a hot start out of the gate, Team Vitamin C2 hits a dead zone. And then we just hit a, you know, brick wall. We haven't had a bite on the left side yet. Let's get another kite out. It was three or four hours of watching other boats around us catching fish. It was tough. I mean, we were fishing our butts off. We were doing everything you possibly can. Hold on, hold on. Jockeying for position, trying to get the bite, and we just didn't. It was just, it was stagnant. We ended up making another move. I'm like, I can't, can't it's not working. My buddy actually, I called him. He's like, yeah, we're fighting one, number five right now. Watch your rods if you get your bait on the top. Come on, let's shine. We moved maybe about a half mile. As soon as we stopped, yeah, five, five. there he is. Got another one, so we're at five. Vitamin C2, mode 26. Puts us right back in the game. I think seven fish was winning the daily then. With only two hours left in the tournament, Miss Annie tops the leaderboard with 15 total releases, while Team Liquid sits at number 10. Still in the running for the daily, Wild Bill's team's four aces and vitamin C2 make the top 10 with five releases each. A lot of boats still catching fish. One of the top boats, I think, was at seven or eight. You running? Real nice and slow. Hold on, get cheese. Come on, Mike. Reel the cane in. There's another one with them. There's another one with them. We put her spread out again. Get a double. Now, guys, we really have to bust our asses. You know what? There's an hour left of fishing. You can catch a ton of fish in an hour. Get the release. Get the release, Mike. Get the cart. And that puts us right there at the top with everyone else. Team Vitamin C2 is up to eight releases for the daily. Meanwhile, Team Liquid's boat, built for speed, takes a pounding in 10-foot seas. Every different weather condition when we're doing this creates a new challenge. And today, the sea condition got big enough that my elevation, which is about 13 feet off the water, wasn't enough to see over them. So there'd be four or five seconds at a time where I couldn't see my bait at all. I have the fish! I have the fish! We feel like we have a chance up until the last minute of every tournament. I got the touch. We're all good. You can go from 11 fish to 20 fish in minutes in this sport. That's what this sport's all about. Up next on Wild Bills, it goes down to the wire 
and you won't believe who takes the last fish. Get ready to get this fish. Watch it, watch it. Oh, f shark. God! Three miles to the south and due east of Jupiter Inlet sits Team Four Aces. With minutes to go and thousands on the line, the anglers can't take any foolish chances. Technique and patience are vital. We need to catch them quick. Every second counts. Hey, in the cluster, in the cluster. He's right there, he's right there. Right. right at the end of the day, we worked real hard on this. Stay focused and with the half an hour, I think we got three. We could have had a fourth one. 20 minutes are all that remain in Operation Sailfish. It'll only take one fish to win a daily jackpot and take home $80,000 in cold, hard cash. Why do we get another bite? The four aces have the recipe for a huge payday, a double, with under 10 minutes to go. All they have to do is get her to the boat and get a proper release. Hey, boys, to the front. We almost had him a couple different times. The leader was real close to the boat, and we couldn't get a release, couldn't get a release, and he all that. Meanwhile, Team Vitamin C2 is back in the game. Junior angler Timmy Maddock has a last minute fish on. Easy, Goose, easy! There's like 30 minutes left, and I think we're tied for third, and sure enough, there it comes on the left long. Timmy Jr. got the rod, fish eight, here comes one on the far right. And, you know, we're looking at this right here. That's going to put us tied for first. Somebody call a spinner! We thought we had a double, and we ended up reeling one right to the boat. My son did. Pulls his cork out of the water. The thing was chasing his cork. Get the release! Get the release! Get the cork! When he pulls his leader out of the water, the leader starts going off, and he was on. And anyways, he got bill wrapped. And as soon as I started coming around, the leader came off, and, you know, that was that. Freeze ball! Freeze ball! And next thing you know, it comes loose and you're just watching it with 30 seconds left and then call lines out and you just see the fish just swim away. With just minutes to go and a sailfish on the line, a leader touch is all that separates Team Four Aces from their ninth sail of the day. Today was a much better day. Our captain did a tremendous job, put us on the fish. We had the shots to win the tournament. All right, you're next, all right, bye. Can I spin out of it or no? Yeah, whatever we can do. You can get a bait out, maybe you can get lucky and win this thing. Are you cool, Alex? No. Time is 3.57, three minutes to go right now. We only got three minutes, guys. Come to the back, Alex. We only got a minute, then we'll go get him. He's right in the back. At the end, just to close the day, right when Lions was out, we were finding our second fish. We had him 20 feet from the transom, and when we were about to grab that leader. Get ready to get this fish. Watch it, watch it. Shark. God! Shark just ate him. They called Lions out. Just as I was getting ready to back up, about a 300-pound bull shark came up and ate a sailfish. Didn't count, so. <laughs> Bit him in half, gave us the head, took the rest of the body, and <laughs> there goes that, so. Uh... And a double, I believe they're down to a single. Bad luck. Fish can't be mutilated, um, either a boat running it over or something else eating it, and that's IGFA rules, that's disqualification. Good going, guys, good try. Unbelievable. That just shows you uh, what type of day we had today. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to be for us. Miss Annie is the winner of Operation Sailfish, while Wild Bill's team Vitamin C2 pulled ninth place overall. A total purse of more than half a million dollars pays out over $165,000 to Miss Annie. And with third place in the daily with eight releases, Vitamin C2 cashes in at $17,280. We were eight for 10 on the day, based on how this week went. It was pretty exciting, it was fun, we were, you know, you like to catch them all, and we always say in every tournament, every fish costs you money, or, you know, standings or whatever, and the one yesterday will cost us money, the two today will cost money, and standings, and, but, you know, at the end of the day, we were 12 for 15, and, you know, the way it all started, 
you know, most people would still be at the dock fixing their boat. Vitamin C2 finishes on top among the Wild Bills teams, but with 9th, 11th, and 13th place finishes overall, they're all in close contention heading into leg two of the Quest for the Crest series. I think it was probably very, very good for the team because I think it builds their confidence. They were perfect. And sitting in 13th, we got a good load of points. You know, we pull a win in one of these things and we'll be right exactly where we need to be. Next week on Wild Bills, it's a day off from tournaments, but not fishing. Crushing Cobia off Miami where one angler takes a terrifying tumble. <laughs>